Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mob Impressions, and today we're going to be talking about Winter Ember. I'm going to be live streaming this review. The goal is to explain what the game is and give you my recommendation on whether or not it's worth the money. So this game comes out on April 18th, 2022. I want to thank the devs and publishers, Sky Machine Studios, Bullfish Studio, and Gamera Game for the review copy. So this game is an action RPG, adventure, stealth, gothic um dark there's a lot of other keywords here isometric camera high story rich conspiracy sword player archery combat so yeah all of that is pretty much true here uh, assassin etc so this game is 30 dollars and it's on playing on steam pc not sure if it's on any other platform and it's going to be full control support so i played with an xbox one controller it also has steam cloud and this game basically the story is you are following this character named arthur the story starts with him just living his life as a young guy, hooking up with girls. It seems like he is very well off in a rich family. Um, he goes home one day with a couple of ladies. He's talking to his dad and he's like, hey, son, you know, blah, 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 blah. And his son's like, I don't give a crap. Who cares? Doesn't listen. And then that night, his father gets assassinated by a bunch of people. And then he gets beat up. I don't know why they didn't kill him. They kill his father. They kill everyone else around there. But they beat him up and then they burn the whole place to the ground. He got saved by a mysterious woman he met that night. And then the story goes, years years later, he comes back or tries to go back to the town where he grew up in. And, he, and since then, he's learned a bunch of skills. You know, he learned how to use a bow and arrow, learned how to craft, etc. And he wants to go back down and solve the mystery of who those guys were and then go from there. So that's the basic story. The game plays like an isometric action rpg you can either go guns blazing you know shooting people um stabbing them or you can backstab them instead of just regular fighting you got rolling around um so this game is pretty ambitious i would say in terms of its gameplay there's a lot here but unfortunately not everything feels super crazy polished but I do have to commend them that there is a lot here. So let's talk a little bit about the stealth stuff that you can do first. It's a pretty good stealth system. You're only controlling one character. It's not like other games where, you know, like tactical stealth games where you queue up a command and you can have someone else queue up a command and you can activate them and do all that stuff. It's just one guy. So you only have to worry about that. And you can, there's fog of war. Enemies walk around in patrols. You can, you know, put out lights. You can hide around corners, you can go inside boxes, you can go behind them, you can pit pocket people, you can take them out using a stealth attack, you can hide the bodies, you gotta make sure you make, you know, there's blood on the ground, kill everyone else. There's a lot here in the stealth, there's tall grass, etc. Uh, foot noises and distractions and that's all the good stuff. The action portion is kind of where it falls off a bit, but it seems the most... Um, easiest way to play, at least from my, what I've seen. The combat's very clunky. You have a basic attack. You're only using your dagger and arrows for the most part. And the dagger plays okay. You got like a triple attack. You can dodge. You can back. You can back step. And enemies, the AI doesn't seem to be that insane in terms of like combat. You can really sort of cheese your way out of them just by attacking, backing up, attacking, backing up. But honestly, the best way to do it is stealth if you can because you can get a lot of instant kills there. Um, the game has some cool skills and abilities. I, on the Steam page, it says that they have over 70 skills of passive and active skills. From what I can see, unless more gets unlocked in the late game, there's only like 24 skills. But each skill has a different step up, which makes it above 70, which is why I guess they say 70. <laughs> but I feel like if this is it, it's a little misleading because a lot of the skills, it's like, okay, you get more damage. And the next skill, a little bit more damage, more damage after that. It's, it's just a bunch of small increments. So it's not really new skills. It's 24 skills. I don't know why they said it that way. Um, but anyway, um, the way that you get skills in this game is pretty interesting. You have to find skill tokens. So there's a huge incentive to make sure to look through all the treasures, do all of the side quests, because you are able to do that that way. Uh, this game does not have quick saves. You have to go to a shrine is where you save and that's where you spend your skill tokens. So it has that sort of tension that way. I really do appreciate that. 
uh, instead of having like you know f5ing and f9ing everywhere that's reserved for more like hardcore shooter games like doom and stuff like that so in this game i think it definitely needs that otherwise it's like who cares i'm just gonna go run around with no consequences so at least you're like okay i gotta be kind of careful kind of smart otherwise i'm gonna lose progress a lot of more games need that you know the auto saves okay in some just you know some scenarios and some genres but i think for this one in this game it works the you know, save system does work uh the music was decent the voice acting is interesting it's like quality is all over the place for the main character arthur his voice acting is pretty cool he's like rough and gritty he reminds me of like solid snake uh, but there's a lot of other ones where it's like who do they get to do these voices maybe they just hired their like friend or something but yeah there's that um what else is here uh bug wise there is a couple of weird bugs I had NPCs that were already dead when I talked to them. Um, enemies just stopped following you for some reason. I had a air. I had a thing where I accidentally soft locked myself. I fell down an area and I couldn't move. I couldn't get at. I really couldn't get anywhere. Um, so I had to just reload my last save. Luckily, it was only like a couple minutes behind, but I would have been really pissed because at that time it was like in between like 20 or 30 minutes between the last save. So it would have really been bad if I lost a lot. I might have would have stopped playing there, but luckily I went back and it kept going. Um, I have to mention the arrow system in this game. It's really cool. Uh, this is probably one of the most unique cool things about the game so you can shoot regular arrows which does damage to enemies or you can craft different types of arrows they have a quite a lot of utility and elemental ones you have like rope arrows so you can climb things you have electricity arrows to power on you know um, generators and stuff like that so you even have like fire arrows to burn icicles and water arrows to shoot at the ground that creates an ice puddle where enemies can you know, slip and slide so you find a lot of loot and you can craft it you find like arrow shafts and then you find the tips and you combine that into the things there is a um, you also find a ton of random gold and different types of loot that you can put in your inventory diablo style later on you're going to find a fencer where you can sell all that stuff off and then buy more stuff that way so you know what this game has a lot for it and i would say if you can get over the first tutorial hurdle of learning the game you are probably going to enjoy because i think it gets better and better there's just a lot of bugs and it does need some polishing at first i was like damn this game's hella clunky i don't like it but i'm gonna go through it a lot so i can you know actually review it and check it out it kind of grew on me it really did um i you know i preferred not to do so much stealth in this game even if there was a lot of enemies on the screen attack back up attack back up the enemy's not that smart but there's a lot of exploration here a lot of looting and if you do want to go that stealth route it's there uh they said 70 or so skills but honestly like i said 24 with a little bit of up increments and you know what for 30 dollars this is a good game i think for 30 dollars this is perfect if you want to wait for a sale 25 dollars but i think they 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 did a good point I'm not sure how big the developer and team is, Sky Machine Studios, but this feels like, you know, not that big of a team, but it looks good. So Winter Ember, I have to say, slow start, get used to the controls. Oh, one more quick thing about the controls. The, the arrow system is, a, uh, the, the way you notch arrows is a little weird. You hold down LT and then your character readies it up. You see a little arrow where you're gonna shoot it and then you think it's gonna be like a twin stick shooter you use the right stick but you can only go up and down your character moves around and instead you have to aim left and right like the, when you turn left or turn right the whole camera goes with you and it's really disorienting so you just have to get used to that if you do you're probably gonna be really good in you know arrow combat but you don't want to use it too much that's what i'm saying you want to primarily use it for puzzles and stuff so winter ember cool story very dark overall the package it's worth 30 dollars. i do have to say that so give it a try winter ember i'm going to be leaving you guys with some gameplay of me fighting etc if you enjoyed leave a like it helps a lot if you haven't already subscribed for daily videos remember all of this is being live streamed on twitch even this review i'm sitting here and i'm live streaming it come by there's a link down below if you want to see my playthrough i'll be uploading it on the let's play channel also link down below Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.
There's a, like no way to do arrow stuff here too. Look, it's like too much going on. Oh, it's working. No mercy. I don't think you're ever gonna be able to switch out weapons because your skill is directly oh, tied to your crush. dagger. So you it's just you and a rats. bunch of different. Um, I mean, you get the throwing daggers later. Out of the way, civilians. Nice. Speak to the couple. Oh, they better give me some some good. Yes. Here I come. <laughs> this is a dead guard from earlier. Um, am I going the right way? Yes. The bridge. Okay, so we gotta talk to these guys. I gotta find a fence. I gotta sell the stuff so we can so we can loot more. What the? Hey, you guys. <laughs> We're so grateful, kind sir. As a token, <laughs> please take this. No, they're dead. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks, you guys. I'm talk. I I'm a freaking psychic. I talk to the dead now. 